Talking Welcome. Heads Club. It's been too long. It's been far too long, honestly. You know, four weeks. Yeah, I'm not going to say whose fault that is. It was definitely mine. The people watching see who I'm pointing at. So, anyways, uh, uh, but I'm not pointing any fingers. All right, let's get to it, guys. Uh, we don't we don't have time to talk about what's been going on because there's only one thing that's important right now. The biggest game of the year dropped. Okay, that's right. Among Us is on Switch. Woo! <laughs> oh. Among Us, baby. It's on Switch. Everybody, every, five bucks. I mean, come on. Biggest game of the year. Five only five dollars. <laughs> Cost per entry though is also having a switch. Well, switch you can find. Best game, you know. I would say best game, most played game, most. uh... Yeah, Robot Mike, I think is right. Uh, He, uh, I mean, he makes good points. It is the best game. I among us probably probably the best game of this year, most played game, and it was because of us. I mean, that is true. It was because of us. Mm -hmm. That's just the truth. That's a fact. Everybody knows it. Uh, just ask anybody, anybody on the street. We go who, it, who 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 made Among Us, in. and they'll go. I don't know who who did you hear about Among Us from. And they'll go Talking Heads Club. Whoa, Michael. I don't know how it's Michael like, looks for you, Ben, but he is fucking in the Matrix. Oh my god. My oh god, he looks like one of those. Uh, I don't I don't know what they are like I've seen it as a TikTok trend like where the videos like meld into each other oh yeah I mean this is uh Ooh, those are gross oh he's still there I can see a little corner of him anyways I all right it's just green <laughs> I don't know I don't crazy? know what's going on with Michael I have no clue we might have to fucking cut him off <laughs> Michael. uh anyways uh no of course I'm not talking about among us talk about cyberpunk uh it came out uh, I think I'm probably the only one who's played it. Um, ben, I've been seeing you've been playing another RPG, Fallout 4. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, that's... I, uh, I really... I, I was actually looking today on the Steam page to see what the minimum and recommended specs are for Cyberpunk. And I think the only thing that would bottleneck me on that game is my GPU, so I might get uh, it. Um, uh, but John said that he would let me download it and try it again. Oh yeah, I would. Yeah, I, would, I was about to say. Before I, I spend the sixty bucker skis. Yeah, I'll let you borrow it with my Steam. Also, yeah, that's the cool thing with Steam. You can let people like borrow some of your games, whatever. So as long as you're not playing it, you know, uh, they can. Yeah, it does. But I, I gotta say, I have seen some of like the the glitches, and some of it's oh. pretty funny. I gotta oh, say. Oh, it's that's the thing. So I've been playing it. I've actually been playing it a lot. So uh, it actually came out a really nice time where uh, I was ending school and literally the day, basically the day that I was done with school. Uh, I mean, I was literally finishing my final project, exporting it out of After Effects and then submitted it and went over to Steam and started downloading Cyberpunk. <laughs> and that I was like, oh, that's a good day. Oh, it was great because it came out at 7 like uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it came out like mm-hmm. uh, like a few hours early. And so I got to download. It took like an hour to download, hour and a half. And I started playing it. Really fun, really good. And so what I had heard. So my perspective on it was I saw like the first gameplay they put out, like the 40-minute gameplay they put out like a year, a year and a half ago, a long time ago. Yeah, that was a hot minute ago. Uh, And I saw that and I was like, okay. And then I went, well, I'm definitely going to get that game. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get that game no matter what, even if it's close to that. You know? Did you have it pre? Uh, did you have it? I, I pre-ordered it about like two weeks before because I had already known okay. I was going to get it. So I was like, you know, yeah. whatever. Uh, I usually don't pre-order many games, but that was one I was like, you know what? We're going for it. And so I, uh, I hadn't seen anything else because I actively avoided anything else because I didn't want to see. I was like, I'm already getting it. There's no more. There's no reason for me to see any more about the game if I'm already buying it. Yeah. And so everything that I saw basically in the game, the only thing that I saw was in that 40 minute trailer. And there was a little bit that I actually like experienced in the game that they kept in. I was like, okay. But aside from that, everything else was new. And with that being said, I'm having a great time. It's a really fun Mm -hmm. game. Uh, Have you had any big bugs or anything? And with that being said, I've had a good amount of bugs. Uh, It is probably the buggiest game I've played period God. period like i mean that's uh, why i'm about to say ben you might just want to wait because I, I think i'm gonna i uh it it is it is not ready and i i was talking to tom about this it is incomplete uh in some ways not not completely it's like 90 
95% done. All they need to do is go in for about maybe six months. I said six months, maybe a little bit more than that. But six months would probably do it where they go over, smooth all the bugs out, put some more like different shit in uh, to make it better than it is right now. Because what it is right now is not finished. <laughs> uh, it is it is not half-baked. It's like you could have left it in for another minute and it would have been done. Yeah. But you didn't. And That's I get why you didn't. Because a bunch of consoles were coming out. Uh, like it was, it was a whole re- – you had delayed it a million times. I get why they did what they did. However, they sh- shouldn't have, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, they should have just waited a little bit and gone, all right, we're going to fix everything, guys, as much as we want to release this to you guys. We also don't want to hey, release has, an unfinished product. Has what? Joseph got it on his PC? I don't know if Michael's there. Michael's loading for me. So I don't even know if He's Michael's loading for me. <laughs> I'm curious. If, <laughs> I'm curious if. Uh, I think. Because I, I think know. he did say that Joseph has it, but his PC can't run it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, There's I'm gonna upgrade it or whatever. I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, by the time you upgrade it, you'll probably... Oh, Michael's back! Woo! I mean, but by the time Wait, he upgrades it, Steamy? it'll probably be fixed. So Yeah, we can now. Okay, yes, Joseph, Joseph's PC cannot run. He has Cyber, Cyberpunk downloaded on his PC, but he can't. Oh, run. no. He said what? even at the lowest settings, it doesn't run. Uh, do you remember... Do you know, like, how much his PC cost him? I mean, it wasn't too much. Like, $400, maybe? $500? But, but like, that's near what mine is. He... he yeah, but he, I don't know, I think he bought the um, graphics card expecting to upgrade it really quickly because it was like, it was just something that would, I don't know, but then he didn't upgrade it and because he left for college and his, his laptop has more processing power. It has a, like, it has a designated uh, graphics card and it's stronger than the graphics card he has on his PC. That's not good. Which is kind of a bummer. That is a big yikes. But, well, but he's going to uh, upgrade that here soon and, and be able to do some cyberpunking. Yeah, it sounds like all sure. he needs to do is upgrade the graphics card, which, I mean, is a big part of it. Yeah, that's that's a big chunk. However, if that's all you need to do, mm-hmm. I mean, that's not too hard. So you can find used nah, ones and bad. stuff, too, especially now that this. the new ones are coming out. The new Some new graphics cards are coming out, and so the other ones are getting discounted. It's just Old ones are gonna get not the 3090. I thought the 3090 was the shit that everybody's losing their mind I, I over. think it is, but the thing was, it was like everybody was like, oh, fuck yeah, it's coming out. And then everybody started selling theirs, and then it went on pre-order, and bots took over the pre-order. And, and no one got this. Uh, so now they're like, and so then they're, they're like, having like new shipments. Uh, are... So now they're having to wait for new ones uh, to be made. Okay. So that sucks. it really sucks, but I that's that's the way of the net. So you don't understand what, Mike? I feel like they could have just waited till Christmas to release Cyberpunk. That would have given them like another month to kind of work on it, and like they might have been able to. Fill another it. month, it would have given them twenty something the days. Consoles. It would have given them no, yeah. not even twenty. It would have given them like fifteen days. Fifteen days would not fix these bugs, Mike. Like it, it yeah, needed exactly. another six months to smooth it out, and that sucks. But you also, also, yeah. what sucks is a buggy game being released. That actually, that's the that's the funniest, but also sad thing. I feel bad for a lot of people. Is it legitimately cannot run? Like it can can run yeah. on PS4 and Xbox One, but it's like, oh, it shuts down every. I haven't actually seen hour. gameplay from the PS4. Uh, oh, did you mean the but... Nintendo 64? That because that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks bad. It looks really. <laughs> I mean, mean, it looks. Uh, it's. I've seen parts where it's like, oh man, and and it's weird. There are like settings that I, I I like. It was everybody posted. Hey guys, turn off like chromatic aberration and something else. Grain. Film grain. I think it was film grain. Yeah, film yeah. grain. Turn those off. Why did they run. put chromatic aberration in a game? Why did they put film grain? Film grain made it look awful. I was like, because yeah. when I loaded into it, when I started playing, I was like, this looks really cool. It looks like it has film grain on, but like turned up all the way. And then I looked in the settings and it was it was on. And I, I turned it off instinctively, not even seeing that. And I was like, okay. And then it looked 10 times better. And I was like, okay, that'd be cool. Especially if I could have even have like a slider. A film grain and be like okay have it like 40 percent on it looked 10 times yeah. better because with it all the way on it's like dude it just looks blurry like i don't know what you're trying to do with this i don't know there were a lot of decisions but that's why i'm like if they gave it another four months these decisions could have been made where it's like okay maybe we should not have that on you know whatever but at the same time yeah i've heard i've heard people say this and i, I do think it's true this is the state of video games now this is like how video games 
work. Yeah. This is just a necessary process of AAA games where they release in a buggy state, and now instead of QA testers being the main ones reporting bugs, now it's they get some of the major game breaking bugs, and then the players figure out all the other bugs that are common or whatever. But mm-hmm. it's like I'm a, I don't really care in this case because while the bugs have been immersion breaking, they haven't been game breaking. They've gotten close a few times, but they've been you know whatever. Uh, so I, I've been enjoying it. It really doesn't look terrible, but the frame rate is horrendous. yeah. That's that's the problem. It's like the frame rate drops every five, and it's like dude, I can't handle that. If the frame rate is dropping, like. Yeah. And it's not, we're not talking like 60 frames. We're talking like it's this running like 30 15. and drop into like 15 and 10. And it's like, dude, yeah. this is, oh, oh, this is sad. This is, yeah, yeah sad. I was going to say the graphics really don't look, uh, that's what I was expecting is that it looked like, like, well, I think it's when like graphic. loading into new areas, it just takes a dick year to uh, load. Okay. And so like yeah, people's faces will PS4 look, four has like, yeah, uh, a hard which, drive, doesn't it? Yeah, which happens, happens on mine a little bit i'll start playing and it, like I'll, I'll call my car i'll like load into an area and call my car immediately and so since all the area is still loading and the car has to load too the car will kind of be blurry but for like a second half a second and mm-hmm. then it loads real yeah. real quick but i'm also running You're it on, on an ssd, SSD right? yeah i'm running it on an ssd so it's like even that is like mm, you could probably fix that a little bit also every time i go so you can but all the game is in first person except when you're driving you can go to third person Mm-hmm. So, but anytime you're on a motorcycle, I uh, and you have any kind of helmet on, which you're always wearing some kind of hat, helmet, gear, whatever, because it's armor and it gives you more armor. So you're never yeah. not wearing that. Anytime you switch to third person, you're bald. You are bald for about two <laughs> seconds, and then it puts whatever headgear is on or your hair or whatever. And I'm like, it just left you bald right in the Do you have problems with bald people, bro? Uh, no, no. Is but my character, I only people? know my character as bald because I've seen him more times being bald than actually with his hair, which was one time in the <laughs> character creator. Uh, anytime I look in the mirror, same well, thing. He's bald. I'm like. All right, cool, I guess. That's kind of annoying. Just a split second he's bald? Or no, he's for the bald? whole entire time, I'm looking in the mirror, he's bald. <laughs> and I'm like, cool, guys, uh, all right. That's why there's, like, there's this isn't game-breaking in any way. It's just, it's just immersion-breaking. Yeah. But the fact that it keeps happening is like, guys, oh, my God, come on. Come on, <laughs> yeah. guys. So that's like, why I'm, I'm like... I'm uh, for it to just work itself out, you should have You should have given it six months, but I guess the decision you made was, we'll sell it, we'll get our money, and then we'll fix it. <laughs> Because that's it's crazy. easier to ask for forgiveness. Nice, Mike. That's actually really cool. I, I like that. That's original art. I think Michael came up with that himself. Honestly, I've never seen that anywhere before. Going the wrong direction, guys. Uh, well, you know, it's it's your own like weird mirror world. So, so I might yeah. have, should I should I just like? Now they're not going to claim you. Yeah, you they know? won't claim. Yeah, it's your yeah, own. I and, yeah, I sell that. Put that on a yeah. T-shirt or something. This is also oh, Michael. IP. Put your AirPods back in. What are you doing, Michael? Put your AirPods I, back. My AirPods are back in. Oh uh, well, you only have one in. How dare you? You gotta use both. Everybody knows that. But there, there should I erase the, the the? Should I erase the rainbow? <laughs> no, back, leave it. Like, to going down, or should no, I just leave like leave that? It. Just send it at that. It. Full send. Really? Yeah. yeah, full send. I think if you try to fix it now, you'll fuck it up even more. You know, I don't believe you. I don't believe in you, Michael. I'll be honest. You already fucked it up I this go, much. What, is it, what do you want to do? No. I want no, to do don't it. listen. Don't then listen I'm to your heart. Like, listen I'm to me. I'm going to wipe it off, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to paint over it with black and redo it again. Okay, well. You're going to wipe it off? Right. Why don't you just no, paint let him, over it? No, let, let him, I mean, let him make over, his mistakes. Like it a little bit. Let him make his mistakes. Look, you guys, you, well, um. Yeah, he's fucking yeah. it up big time. And he sees it. Yeah, I see it in his too. eyes. I see it in his eyes, and he's scared now. He doesn't know what to do. It's not working. <laughs> I saw it. Hey, he's covering up his face. Ah, look at those eyes. He doesn't know what it's... he's doing. He has no clue what he's doing. No, dude, it's fixed now. All right. Anyways, enough of this painting bullshit. Yeah, it's yeah, easier yeah. to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. So Check I think him. that's what their logic was, and they were just like, game. all right, take our game. It's awesome. And everyone was like, yeah. Wait, it doesn't work. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, and it's like, well, it'll hey, work. You still have a cool game, though. You, and I do you, think you it's still pretty it? You're still playing it, though. Oh, I'm playing. But, Michael, I have a high-end PC. I'm getting the best experience. I, I'm talking about yeah. the people on PS4 and Xbox One who actually probably can't 
can't that play it suck. or don't want to play it. The problem is that they, they just overpromised. Oh yeah, they overpromised big time. But that's that's the other point I wanted to get to. So I uh, I had heard Cyberpunk, the, the Cyberpunk 2077 subreddit. I think it's Cyberpunk Game is what it is. Um, yeah. I heard it had just become a shitstorm over it, which I went, yeah, makes sense. Like that's what happens anytime a game releases and it's shitty in some way most of the people on the internet who are vocal are going to be like, fuck this! And it's going to turn into a big cesspool of, fuck this! Which is exactly what happened with No Man's Sky. This is the first ex- example I remember, is the subreddit for No Man's Sky was like, yeah, No Man's Sky is coming out, woo! And then it came out and it turned into a cesspool of just fucking hating on, on it completely. And just racking up all the lies that they gave. Well, somebody kind of did that on the Cyberpunk subreddit. Uh... And it, it, was, it was just this from five hours ago. You overhype the game for yourself and you set your expectations too high. They're like mimicking what people are telling them. And then they have a list of just things that like, it was like, remember wall running, remember NPC daily routines and AI, remember the wanted system and corrupt cops. Like it was, it was just a bunch of stuff that they had talked about in, in some of the things. And I remember wall running was the, the first one that they mentioned. Well, that's that was shown. Cool. That was that shown in, in in the forty minute trailer. But you know what was also shown in the forty minute trailer? The game is currently in alpha. Anything you see in this video is subject to change. They literally said that at the very beginning, then said it in the middle, and said it at the end. Because I went, wow, that's because people are probably gonna. I bet some of this is gonna change. People are gonna be mad once uh, once it comes out. Now, at the time, I didn't think it's gonna be buggy and all the rest of the stuff. But I went, they're probably gonna change stuff. And I bet people are. Gonna I just mad. don't get the point of pre-ordering. Uh, I get the or, I get I get it if you already know. Hey, I'm gonna play it no matter what. See you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if you if you already know you're gonna play it, then it's like all right. If you're gonna buy it on day one, and no matter what any reviews say or whatever, then it's like okay. And that's kind of where I was at. I was like, it's another RPG. The open world looks awesome, and I I didn't expect it to. If you know, if you know you're gonna. I just, but it's like if you know you're gonna do it, then why not just do it? Why, when it comes why not out just and you wait? Have a little bit of time because I wanted. To, well, for, for me, I wanted to pre-download it, and that's a big for thing. It made more sense because it, you could you could assume that your PC was gonna be okay. Well, and also part. it was. Well, people didn't know that was gonna be buggy. I mean, there was nothing about the only I had seen. Well, actually, take that back. There was one guy I saw on Twitter who talked about the bugs, and then people started railing on him, being like, "Fuck you!" Blah blah blah. And, Any Project Red is gone. But you have to remember, literally every gaming site, not every gaming site, but every gaming site that released reviews on the day gave it 9 out of 10, or like 8.5 out of 10. Even the ones that said it was buggy yeah. were 9 out of 10. GameSpot was, was the one to give it a 7 out of 10. And then they got fucking vilified. And it was like, okay. But when you play it, when I play it, I'm like... As much fun as this game is, as much as I'm liking it, uh, right now at the state it's in, 7 out of 10. If it gets uh, improvements in shit, uh, they fix some of the bugs and some of the weird quirks, I guess I would call it, of the game, um, 8 out of 10, 8.5 maybe, Jake, not I a 9. Jake, I do need to know, I've heard, I've, I've seen posts about it, I can't tell if it's like a joke or not. Do you get to pick whether or not you have a circumcised penis? Oh, that is completely real. That is, yeah, you have penis type. No. Yeah, come on. Come on, Ben. They won't forget that. They remembered the Are important details. No, I am not. I ben, I am. Hate. I could show you. I could stream it right now. I'm not because my PC would show die trying to do that. Show me your character's penis. Uh, but, well, that's the other thing. I haven't seen my character's penis since I did that. So I'm like, come on. You got to show me. I mean, I've pl- I've I played for sixty hours now, so that's the thing. That's the other thing. I've put, I've gotten my money's worth already out of the game. If I'm doing the mm-hmm. the dollar dollar per hour transaction, I've gotten my money's worth, so I'm already happy with it. I'm happy with the game, and it's also one of those things. I'm one of those people. If you have played a game for more than like, I would say even like ten hours. I would I would even say almost like five or six, but you know you can figure out a game in a little bit. But so if you play past like ten hours. And you're like, ah, that game fucking sucks. I hate it. And then continue to play it or even just have played it for 10 hours straight and say that. It's like, well, you probably enjoyed it at some level, I feel like. Like, it kept your attention for 10 hours. 10 hours is a long time. Like, that's not... Especially, like, and and I'm saying this in a way, like, 20 hours and 30 hours especially, I see... You'll see... It's... Why I'm thinking this is on Steam pages. 
you can people can post their reviews and yeah, then and say the how 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 much time they put. And I can understand like having gripes with the game and everything, but it's like if you're giving it a thumbs down, and you put that much time in it. It's like I guess I guess you don't like it, but you what does that say about you? You've played this much of a bad game. I don't know. I feel like it's like you hold out hope for it. Like I was, guess, yeah, was but it? it was it was beyond two souls. I really wanted to like that game so much. But I feel like after seems... ten or fifteen hours, you would know if you like it or not. You know, that's. I mean, I got in like I got in. God, actually, I don't even know. I don't want to say I got in ten, but it feels like it was ten. That's what I'm saying. I like, oh, I would say more goes. like fifteen or twenty hours if you're past that point. I'm saying like a good amount of hours. If you're a good amount of hours in, no matter what you say, it's like yeah, I guess you cannot like the game, but it's like at some point you did like the game and you got were into the game. I guess you weren't. Yeah. You could not like it, but you were into it. It hooked you in some way. I mean, to keep you that long, it's <laughs> it's something. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's the whole cyberpunk debacle has been interesting. But I mean it's. It's just kind of video games at this moment. It's it's kind of, oh, a video game's released. Oh, it's buggy. Oh, everybody's mad at them. Like, what fucking is new? This is honestly, like, just typical for games at this point. Like, I, I didn't even know this, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla released super buggy, apparently. Um, really? Yeah, like, I don't know if it was this level of buggy, uh, but it, it was pretty buggy as well. But it's like, this has been happening Only for a while now. This is nothing Only new. thing I saw from that game was that you could eat shrooms. I didn't see that. I haven't really seen much from that. Yeah, game, but you can like walk through the woods and find magic mushrooms. I've been interested in Assassin's Creed since they did Origins. Origins really interested me. Uh, that was the oh, Egypt Origins. one, oh, um, okay. and I was like, oh, that seems really cool. And even, I mean, since since it was released, but even onwards, every single time I see it, I'm like, I want to play that at some point because that just seems like a really. I know they yeah, changed the didn't... gameplay and everything. But it's also just Didn't like. Did he have origins? Yeah, he. I'm pretty sure he. Oh, I don't know if he has origins. I know he has Odyssey, and Odyssey is the one I actually want to play. Yeah, that's the one. That idea. was the one that was like, I'm really close to getting this, but then I just, I had, I, or at least at that point, I thought I had had enough of Assassin's Creed, because mm -hmm. I had really. But what it is now, I don't think it's Assassin's Creed. Like Odyssey has a bunch of like, I mean, this is they just have added game mechanics that are in other games. But at yeah. least it spruces it up a little bit where it's like, okay, because they added skill trees. Okay, skill trees are in, like, almost every other game. They're in fucking Cyberpunk. Yeah. However, that sounds cool. it helps kind of, like, narrow your gameplay style, and you can't get everything. So it's like, okay, you're just going towards the, like, stealthy hunter path, but now when you're up close fighting somebody, you're shit at it. So you have to, like, find strategies to get away from them and, like, either try to snipe them or do whatever. So it's like, that's that, that's a really cool way of, like, changing up the gameplay style using skill trees. So it's like, they're using it in an effective manner, you know? Not It's not just some yeah. random bullshit that they added that's like, oh, add 3% to your, add 0.3% to your luck. And it's like, that, what does that do? I, that does nothing. I'm, uh... I was really happy to get. I haven't played um, Fallout in ages. I played it a bunch over the summer, um, and I stopped during school, but I started it up again. Uh, but I, I just that that is a fun type of because I didn't really play a lot of game. I've never really played a lot of RPGs, so it's very fun to get into that again. Because fall, I, I mean, honestly, just the whole Fallout thing is just it's. Oh, Fallout! The Fallout I universe, played, I love. Played a Fallout since '76, which is like in middle school. So '76. Wait, what? Not seven. I was about to say, I was like, uh, uh, New Vegas. Sorry, I was reading something the other uh, day about. Oh, it was it was in a thread. It was in a Reddit post about Cyberpunk. Um, about how was, somebody was like, I hope they go like the Hello Games route right with No Man's Sky, or like I hope they improve it at least as much as Bethesda has improved Fallout '76. Because apparently 76 has... Like, 76 has gotten now. better, supposedly. I'm still not going to play it. I'll wait till it goes, like, oh. free-to-play or whatever. I don't... I, maybe it is free-to-play. I don't know. Even if it was... Hey, that shows... Even if it was, I maybe wouldn't play it. So, I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, it's just, like, games like that, it's like... The minute that game came out, it was like, Hey, what the fuck is Michael doing? What is going on? I don't know, dude. I, he's really uh, trying though. I, I walk, his walk in a cave and yeah, I know he keeps trying. Yeah, I mean, gotta applaud his effort. Well, doesn't Lexi like live out in like farmland? Pro probably, probably. Yeah. So you know, yeah. he's he's just calling in from the farm. Um, 
anyways okay. yeah so the whole cyberpunk situation has been interesting but i yeah i've been, I've been glad to get back to an rpg because it's been it's probably been since fallout 4 that i, I played a, a true rpg i'm just gonna wait for yeah it to I, be ooh, wait i would solid wait. stable i would wait like it i do still want to try i don't know if i would go back in time and tell myself to wait because i think i really have enjoyed what i got out of it like yeah uh, i i definitely think it's a fun game it'll be s- s- six months down the line i i really think it's gonna be great it's gonna be an awesome game It'll, it yeah, will be an 8.5 8. out of 10 but it's not gonna it's not gonna be that now and it's and that's the shitty part and this is why i say you should have delayed it six months it's always going to be remembered as a buggy game that got delayed yeah. it's not going to just re- be remembered as a game that got delayed because it's already remembered as that no matter what yeah that's sticking and that's why i'm like should just delete it again because even i get you already delayed it and i get you're like fuck are people gonna even be okay with another delay people might be like fuck you guys after this i mean but, at this point it basically is a delay isn't but, it? like exactly that's what i'm saying it's like people, you released a buggy game now can't cool. play it. all right yeah you basically delayed on those consoles except now people are pissed at you like more mm-hmm. pissed at you than they whatever yeah so that's the whole entire thing i'm like all right well i i guess this but it's not going to change like this is not going to change <laughs> and we're only going to experience this again know, like, like in a year style of release. yeah it's only going to be like ah another game everybody's hyped for yeah and then what the fuck it's buggy i can barely play it uh i think it was especially it is especially bad with this one though because yeah, they it was it the, up and they were, well it was yeah. the old consoles it was like released yeah. between the new and old consoles and it was like all right we're gonna make it work for the old consoles have you played any of the it new works ones? uh I don't know the new consoles no i really want to try the ps 5 controller because that's all i, can I do too it that's does seem what really cool. that is why i've seen people be like whoa it's oh like, my it doesn't, gosh i'm like there's so, no way uh I, yeah i know it's one of those things it's like with vr it's like i don't know what you're talking about until i try it and then i'm like yo you were right you were right i think it's, hey, I, i'm really excited because I, I and that are, is are you gonna get one i will get one eventually probably uh in six months or a year maybe i don't know once once there's more like games for it and um <laughs> yeah and the prob maybe a year down the line there'll be a bundle or something so who knows they might even come out with like you know they do like the ps4 slim and then the pro and then yeah but they'll that. probably wait like two years for that i would think i don't know Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, yeah. That's that's enough. Uh, that's enough games, you know, for now. Uh, so, moving on to more games. Um, what were your favorite games of the last generation, Ben? Because uh, I, I was thinking My about favorite this. games of the last generation. Yeah, Ooh. I was thinking about this, and I was like, it's kind of crazy that it's been a whole entire generation of of, of games now, or of uh, you know consoles. Um, Okay. Because it, uh, what the the PS4 and Xbox One came out in 2013, I, I think it was September 2013. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so. I think I could list my top three pretty quick. Yeah. I was, but from there, I don't know. I, I top three is pretty good because I I can't. I mean, there's there's a lot. I I have like some floating around. I think I wrote it down somewhere, but who knows where that is oh wait no oh fuck that's hard actually yeah see that's the thing you'll you'll start thinking of other ones that you're like fuck now i i do want to say one that i'm pretty damn sure of i'm pretty damn sure i i won't yeah i i I, yeah yeah metal gear solid 5 that game fucking rules that game is like one of the best of the um of just like i mean i've never played another metal gear solid so this was my entry to it, uh, which also I, I want to go back and play the other ones, but because I started on that one, it makes me a little scared too, because I feel like it might be like, oh, yeah, you started with the like best the, the one gameplay wise, of yeah, the Metal Gears, right? Uh, yeah, that's gameplay wise, that's the best one. Story wise, it's the worst one. Um, which the story, I can kind of tell you the story, but yeah, it's not very heavy on the story. All the stories in like these messages you get, so you have to like listen to it on your own. Since I didn't um, care and I wasn't invested, I was like. Okay, whatever. I'm just running around. Yeah, it was whatever. Um, but the gameplay, fucking phenomenal. I love that game. So wait, I, is that your top? That's your top number one. I don't know if that's my number. I I'm not gonna say even like number, unless I even unless I think it's something that's better. That might be my number one, but I don't know. I'm just gonna say top three ambiguous. It's not one two three. It's just one one one. They're all they're all stars in my book. I don't pick favorites. I don't pick favorites. I'm I'm not like that. Um. But yeah, that's that's definitely one of mine because that I spent so much time in, and that I I just enjoyed the hell out of that game. 
that game was so much fun just going through and exploring that world. It it does it got high mark. It got like a whole bunch of nine nines out of ten. Didn't oh, it? that I, that I, game I, deserves a nine out of ten. That game deserves a nine. Out yeah, of 10. I know. Guys, uh, um, I, I I started it on Metal Gear Solid Five, and I made it to. I made it to like when you start collecting people for your boat, and that literally turned me off so hard. I was oh, just like, I don't oh, want to have to collect people to that make shit for me. That is almost one of my favorite parts, because then I go, oh, all these missions I'm going on, I can scan these people and figure out who's better than the others, and then mark them, and then go in and figure out, okay, I'll kill these people, and then I'll get this guy. Oh, that was my favorite part, because then it, it made me have a strategy for trying to figure out how to get through the camps i'm like okay i'm gonna get around uh, these guys don't need to care about these guys that guy i'm getting that guy i'm stealing uh but he's in the <laughs> tower the so i need to get him down so i'd have to like climb up to the tower knock him out throw him down climb back down and then it's all it's like when i explain it, it's monotonous but then they make the monotony part of the progression because then they go okay well now you're getting this there at, at the end once you've developed some certain stuff well, there's this Fulton device is what you capture the soldiers with. Um, there's this Fulton device that's a portal. It's, it's literally a portal. So you just go, and it's like a black hole, and it sucks them up. Oh, and so, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like so if you're in, yeah. less dangerous oh, yeah. than the balloon. And if you're in a building, I mean, just suck people up, and it's like, oh, oh okay, that was easy. So it, it simplifies all that, but now you're getting, like, higher-grade soldiers, so it's a little bit harder to capture them, and then also, like, the security's better. <laughs> it's just a whole, whole bunch of stuff. And so that's the whole entire thing, like, with that game is, like, that game, I feel like I'm not even done with. I feel like if I wanted to really actually go back, I could play it for another maybe like 40 hours and get more out well, of it. But isn't I, it like a fuck, It's like a 30 something hour game or something like that. Isn't uh, it? it's yeah, like it's, it's it's insane. It's, yeah, it's pretty long. It's it's yeah, it's like, I mean, depending on what you do, because because also that's the other thing that I like but don't like is the weapons. You have to, you have like a time time meter on them, so you have to develop them. And so some of the meters are for like outside time, but that's actually for missions. I don't think any of the weapons go off of that. So so all the weapons, it's in game time, I think, and you actually have to play the game for like however many hours, and then after that many hours, oh, this weapon's available for you now. Now what people do to get around that, especially later on when it's like I have to wait for like days, they will literally le just like jump in to like a car, get down, and then just ride throughout. And they'll get a bunch of rewards every time they go through this route. Like, every time they hit a checkpoint, it'll be like, oh, you get a reward. Oh, you get a reward. And they just go throughout, get rewards, wow. get some more money, and then get this. Yeah. I mean, people take this game to a crazy level, but that's – I like games like that. Nice. It's like the mechanics yeah. can hook people that much. And so that's why I'm like, yo, that's got to be at least top three. Because that's, okay, that's, okay. ju that's just well, a, what, a good game. In, in no certain order, then, what are your top – five if you know top five yeah see this is this is i uh and i'm also excluding um uh <laughs> switch games because switch is like a weird middle thing this is i'm literally just thinking like it, it came out for the ps4 and xbox one and it was really only yeah. on could have gone on switch could have gone to wii u maybe i don't know but like they nintendo did not abide by this console generation so they're they're out of the running in my in my book um because i mean i would throw a breath of the wild in there um but the switch isn't over yet i mean it literally just started like three years ago so it's, yeah, it's probably like halfway not even through its life cycle so i don't know it feels longer uh i don't know yeah i mean i yeah i i'm i'm sure the switch will probably go on for longer than eh, i, I want to say longer than it needs to but i'm sure nintendo's going to keep it alive for a while because that is i mean it's yeah. a, it's a fucking strong it's a strong console for them. Um, but yeah, I would say, I don't know. I, I never played The Last of Us 2. Never got around to that. So I'm. That's in mine. Yeah, I know. That's what I was about to say. I'm sure that would be in mine, but I didn't quite get there. So mm -hmm. sorry, I guess. Uh, Destiny. I wanted to say Destiny was one. Because Same I was here. like, that That was the most community-based game, I think, for that was PS4. Such and oh, it was so good. And when I thought of that, I was like, damn, that was PS4. I mean, that feels like almost yeah. like an old console kind of like Xbox 360 kind of community. But it was it was one of those last ones that I can think of where it was like, oh, fuck, we're all playing Destiny. We're all one of us is on at some point. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, that was Thursdays, just a good time. We get up at four in the morning for go see Zer. Oh, my but, gosh. I mean, and that game lasted us like at least a year of like hardcore 
on at like you said like everybody's on oh on yeah every day. Uh, and i remember i got uh when crota uh what was it crota oryx or something i remember one of the strikes yeah crota came first um it was one of the strikes it was, it was when the swords came out so uh I, I don't know when that was i think that was when like the first or second expansion came out something like that um, yeah i i just remember running that like the it was either morning it came out or something running it with these guys like just two randos at like four or yeah. five in the morning and some dude was like yeah i'm a i gotta go work in, in about two hours here but i just thought i'd try it for a little bit and i was like oh that's cool and the other guy was just uh, another i mean the other, they were both normal dudes but i just remember one yeah, guy was yeah. very country um <laughs> but yeah i mean we were just all running it i think we we're all up real early uh like actually just early in the morning for us and yeah it was it was just a fun time it was it was just a bunch of fun and experiences really with was. that community um so i yeah i think that was definitely one for me and that was an early one that came out you, like you start. got into destiny 2 for a little bit too right i did get into destiny 2 for a little bit i actually played both destinies a, qu quite a good amount yeah. uh, I, I got into destiny 2 as well for a while on the pc because it's, it's free it's free that's i know awesome. that's when i initially got into i think it. i I think i still have it i don't know open steam find out but it is it i mean it's a i mean even destiny 2 oh destiny 2 is good uh it, yeah i um i fell off of it a little bit but it's one of those i'm like you know what i could totally see my, myself going back to it yeah. every now and then because i i did it i that's exactly what i did when because that's uh, let's be honest destiny 2 is just destiny a, a few tweaks here and there DLC. but it's it, i mean i mean they've had tweaks fucking every six months with destiny destiny's been like a weird turbulent ride but it's kind of been fun to see it change um mm -hmm. so that's yeah destiny slash destiny 2 it's kind of all in there but more so destiny 1 um was what i was thinking so that's definitely that's definitely up there for me um who i'm trying to think because there's there's definitely some that i've enjoyed I don't know if I'd be ready to call my favorite, because because I'm thinking like Metal Gear Solid Five is like just the gameplay loop of it and everything is is probably the best, but I don't know. I almost want what you look like you saw a ghost. Is the new? Is the new Rainbow Six update live? That's the other one I wanted to talk about. Rainbow Six. That Rainbow was his past is generation. My one. Yeah, that was his past generation. And I yeah that definitely up there because that's probably the best most supported multiplayer game that i can think of throughout like both consoles and yeah. pc on, I, yeah i'm sure when did we when did we get it i mean we're in year uh year like it came out 2014 i think did not year five i've been playing since yeah so 2014 month, 2015. month one or two yeah so I've that's literally, crazy I mean, I've bought... damn yeah. and it's the same exact game Damn, yep. not exact game they've changed it but i mean yeah and that's it's like the same if base you product think back to how much it has changed it's absolutely insane like you get your money's worth like i got my money's worth in the first year like and it's lasted five like it's it, i mean it's insane how how well supported that game has has been i don't just the fact that i've played it for five years is what makes and it, i mean we're at the end of year five too so Damn. that is yeah i was about to say because it wasn't wasn't it 2014 or was it early 2015 that it came out i i but it, it was it was at the start basically like a, within the first year or two of the um or first two or three years of the consoles coming out so um it released in december 1st 2015 oh ben there's i'm looking at a list because i was act, I'm, ha I'm having trouble thinking of all the games that came out ben this is going to be a difficult list actually uh my top five might be as much as i want to throw destiny in there there are some fucking good ass games that have come out in the past what's in there one that came up is one that i personally just fucking love stardew valley stardew valley oh, okay. is such a good game it's so good and it's all made by one dude and it's oh, so yeah that's it's so, so crazy i always forget about that good and it's just it's really cool to hear him talk about making it but also just the game itself is like you can definitely see it's one guy's vision but yeah. like there's so much to do and so much there that it's like damn you really did your best but he's he literally has worked isn't, on it since he was like 14 i think so isn't he the guy he, he 
I think you were telling me about it that he also made the soundtrack for it as well. Like he oh, made he, he did. I mean, he did everything. He did the graphics, the gameplay, yeah. the music. I listened to that soundtrack all the time. He has been one of my top. Uh, he was like my number two or three Spotify person this year. Number wow. one last year, and I think number one the year before. Because I just he's listen. Just a, I listen to that music person. every single time I study, or, or not every single time. Um, but a lot of the times I study, well, I'll just throw yeah. on that soundtrack because it's a very nice, calming soundtrack. Um, so, you know, that's got to be in my top five. Hollow Knight also came out. That's a fucking good game. Oh, God. Hollow Knight's really good. Hollow Knight's like a Wait, Metroidvania kind of game, and it's all like a hand-drawn. I don't know if it's... I think, I'll, it's not necessarily <laughs> hand-drawn, but it's like drawn, you know, art style. Um and it's it, it's really like atmospheric, very cool. Like oh, the music's really good too. Uh, the whole because uh, it's all a bug kind of thing. There's a bug theme, and you're like, but it's not like a gross bug theme. It's very cool how it's animated. I don't know. Yeah, it's a really fucking good game, and just the gameplay it too cool. is awesome. It's yeah. it's a I love Metroidvanias. That's like probably my favorite type of game. Um, so it, it, that was yeah that that game was awesome. Um, fuck, damn there are some good games that came out this past generation and what's funny is half the ones i'm thinking of now i, I wasn't thinking of indie games i was thinking of like triple a games so now i'm like oh well, <laughs> fuck there were a lot of good indie games because i think also uh shovel knight uh that That's came out this when past you year. first said hollow knight i was like is that like a shovel knight thing uh yeah i mean Kind of, well, not, I wouldn't call it similar but it's like a classic gameplay kind of it's, style so yeah yeah um but that's more of like a 90s gameplay style uh, shovel knight is 80s i mean it's like it is like they harken back to castlevania uh mario all, all the all the greats um but shovel knight if you have not played it oh my gosh it's just such a good game and now there's like I remember playing that on our way down to florida you let me borrow the uh, oh, it it's probably my Switch. 3DS. It's probably my 3DS, or or it could have been my Switch. Yeah. I have them on both. Yeah, no, it was your, it was your 3DS. Um, because I remember being like this is so fucking tiny. Oh yeah, no, the um, or maybe no, it wasn't your PSP. No, PSP. Oh, the PS PS Vita or whatever. PS Vita. Yeah. 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 Oh man, rip PS Vita. They got stolen. <laughs> yeah, fucking got stolen. Yeah. Uh, a little story time. Uh, one time I had a PS Vita, uh, and then. Uh, I really enjoyed it. PS Vita, like, legitimately, I think the PS Vita was a good console. But, you know, uh, it just, it lacked some game, uh, I want to say it lacked game support, but it really did have some games. It just lacked people support. There weren't enough people buying the Vita. Uh, so, anyways, you know, I had it, was enjoying it, like, had it for, like, a few months and, and actually played it a lot. And then... You did. You actually got, uh, do you feel you got your money's worth on the Vita? Oh, I definitely got my money's worth on the Vita. The Vita was awesome. I really liked the Vita. Um... I liked I liked the Vita, emphasis on liked because uh, we went to go see Captain America, uh, Civil War. No, not Civil War. Sorry, scratch that. Captain America: Winter Soldier, with uh, my parents and a friend. And then we came out. We were having a great time. And then we looked, and the car had a smash window. And my dad went, "Oh shit!" Or no, "Oh fuck!" Something like that. I don't know. And then I was like, "Oh man, that sucks." And then I went, "Wait, wasn't my like thousand dollar PC in there and like my PS Vita and all this shit?" And I was Did like, they take your PC? Uh, no, they didn't take the PC. They took Vita. Okay. And they took some milk say, and cookies. I've only heard that the Vita got stolen. Milk and cookies that were in a little freezer thing. Uh, <laughs> and the Vita. They took the good stuff. Did not take the thousand more than thousand dollar PC. That was right next to it. So you know they had their priorities straight. I mean, we think it was maybe just a drunk person who just was looking for something i don't know but yeah that was rip r.i.p ps vita i would have supported you longer if it had been stolen uh <laughs> so yeah so you know i i think yeah i don't know the, the indie games really got me because stardew valley shovel knight hollow knight maybe maybe that'll be it maybe that's it uh and then destiny and Metal Gear Solid 5 let me make sure now i'm going down a whole list Overwatch, nah. Overwatch isn't, nah. That's, nah, nah. I forgot. I did forget about Overwatch. I though, forgot about Overwatch I I too. That... It's good. Not my favorite. I, I, I stopped playing that way too. Ooh, Rocket League did come out. That's not my favorite, but that's an honorable oh. mention. That should be that a is fucking an honorable honor, mention because I put enough time into Rocket League and, and I need to get that actually. It's, it's free. It's, I'm pretty sure I it's just, free. I on know. Everything. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You go get it, but I don't have a controller. 
Um, I oh. think all the controllers for everything are sold out right now. Red Dead 2. Mm. Oh my god, I just looked I at don't... my... What? Oh, I just I was pulling up Amazon and I'm in, I'm in a conundrum right now where I've I've got all the things I've ordered or made or whatever all the things that I'm gonna get people for Christmas, but my mom uses my account on Amazon, so I can't look at my Amazon homepage, uh, or else it might be like on the way the gift that my mom is trying to keep secret. I like from how that something. is a common thing now because I had to do the same yeah. thing. I uh, yeah, I, I can't like, check my email or like, anything. Oh, don't don't look at the don't look at the Amazon. Or don't yeah. don't open any Amazon packages that come, even though they might be free. Don't don't open. I just I thought it was because I opened it and I was like, oh my god, no, because I saw <laughs> what was on the front page, but it was literally it was like a Leica camera because oh. I was looking at the cost of a Leica mm. uh, M6. It's obscene. It's like four thousand dollars for the box. That's pocket change. That's pocket change. Yeah. Um, I just throw that around, you know. Oh, that's what I wanted to look up. I want to look up a controller, but then I got scared of the Leica for no reason. Um, yeah, Red Dead Two though. I think that's. I really want to put that on mine. And I think I will. I might have to trade that out with Destiny. Destiny might have to be a sixth one. Mm -hmm. I I don't know because at the same time, I like. I played Destiny and I actually enjoyed playing Destiny and like I would play Destiny just because I wanted to. I felt like at times I was playing Red Dead because I wanted to finish Red Dead because it was so goddamn long and I was like I need to finish this game. Because I enjoyed this, I love. Uh, I don't know. I because the story is actually. I really, really, really like the story of Red Dead Two. Yeah, uh, that story and that main character, Arthur Morgan. Damn, that is that is one of my favorite main characters of any game. Period. I mean, they rock star, and that's the whole thing. I think with Cyberpunk Two, that I've really seen and has made me go. I've heard I, the writing I cherish. is awesome. I I cherish. Well, I, I well, I'm just saying gameplay wise and like just certain mechanics and everything. I go. Rockstar really knows what they're doing. As much as mm -hmm. Rockstar is 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 shit on, uh, and and there are still problems. There are still problems with the missions that they have. A lot of the missions in Red Dead and shit can feel repetitive or boring or whatever. Like they don't yeah. have that flavor of spice. With that being said, though, that game is polished as hell, and that game or at least polished as hell. There were bugs, of course. There's always bugs, but I, as what from what I got, I guess scratch that. I didn't get it immediately when it came out. I got like December holidays but like for, when i played it it was fine so yeah uh that game that so just comparing i, I continually when i was playing uh, cyberpunk i i thought of that and went as as much as i'm you know being like this is i get why this happened it's like yeah rockstar really nailed it with their releases and everything because same thing with gta i mean yeah. that that released pretty damn good people are still fucking milking gta it's insane uh people keep playing gta and they're gonna keep i know and it keeps it. getting revivals too because people do like the role yep. play and the i do to be fair though i want to try one of those role plays because those seem fun those seem just funny they seem just like mm -hmm. a, a funny time so i'm like ah uh, you know i can't i can't blame them but uh this water's so old water that's water yeah yeah it's so bad. Why, why are you drinking old water? I didn't realize it was old. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought that it was new. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Red Dead might have to replace Destiny, though, just because of the story and everything. So, yeah, I'm going to have to probably say that. Hey, I don't know. Uh, uh, actually, kind of my, like my... switch it. Hollow Knight, I'm throwing you out there. As much as I enjoyed Hollow Knight, uh, uh, we'll throw you out. Destiny's in there. Too. Right. Okay, so that's right. my top five. In no particular order, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, uh, Shovel Knight, Stardew. Star oh, Stardew Valley. Oh. Destiny? Oh, Destiny, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's it. Yeah, that was five. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think mine is. Well, mine was. But a lot of the games that we talked about were in mine would be in mine. Last of Us 2, Destiny, um, fuck. I never finished, actually, I'm, the one thing that I'm really bummed about um, is I never finished um, Life is Strange Part, Life is Strange 2. Oh, or, yeah, I forgot that came um, out. Is that done? Did they wait, finish that? I want to say they did, and I had it on PS4 for a little bit. I didn't buy the new seasons, hmm. 
and it just didn't i was really honestly i was really into it but the problem was that i just it's just it was a whole thing um uh but that might have made it if i had finished it because i was really enjoying it yeah, I Maybe I started to play that game, and I just never... I don't know, some of the narrative games, like t uh, Telltale games and stuff, I don't know why I can never... Because first, it's something about me. I, mean, I, I think it's I think it's personally with me in video games, I think I'm always looking for gameplay. And so if it's just... Yeah. Those are... It has gameplay, but it's mainly story-based. Walk and click. And and, yeah. yeah, while I like it, and I can play point-and-click games. I played a lot of point-and-click games as a kid. Yeah. Like Sam and Max, I love... I love the Sam and Max games as a kid. I I think they might be bringing those back soon. If they are, I, I might check those out. What that is. Um, Sam and Max. It's it's a dog and a rabbit, uh, and and they're old point and click games from the 90s, but then they continued to make them into the 2000s, I think. Uh, but I mean, yeah, those games I just had a lot of fun with. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Something about those games never got me. Walking Dead, all those. I don't know. I was just like, ah. Eh. The first season of Walking Dead I thought was a bop, but after that, I just didn't care enough to buy it. Yeah, makes sense. I did like how they kept it up all the way, though, how, how it was like. Oh, yeah, and it had, like, a solid ending and everything, too. But, no, I, um, I, I respect, I, I big respect I to those games, but I just, I just, yeah, that was yeah. It's a bummer that Telltale went under, dude. Dude, it's they? a bummer. I was about to say, yeah, it's a bummer, that whole story of what happened. Basically, they were just like, all right. So then they started pumping out games, but they didn't change their engine at all. And then it was a whole thing of basically them just kind of stagnating and not trying to do anything different. And then by the time they tried to do something different, it was too late. And it was like, ah, fuck, yeah. sorry. And uh, it was like no warning for anybody. <laughs> no, no warning at all. And uh, yeah, yeah, that was the other thing. That was like the shit cherry on top where it was like, oh, cool. Okay, nobody knew it was coming. Man, yeah. that, that's uh, I hate how often that happens where it's like, oh, a shit ton of employees are laid off and they had no clue. And it's like, ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, I, dude, that's what, I've kind of been wondering about that, too, because, like, I know that it was, like, a big thing for people to be talking about, like, video game, like, crunch time or whatever. <laughs> and I feel like, yeah. uh, or, like, crunch culture or whatever. And it's like, I've been wondering, like, what's going on at CD. CD Project CDR. Red, yeah, dude. I yeah. bet, uh, I bet the executives aren't happy. They did release a thing, and they were like, "Hey," uh, so they were saying that the people who, so while they they put out a thing that said the people who were gonna get bonuses based on the Metacritic score, because they had this incentive where if it got a, a ninety or above, I think on Metacritic, then you would get a bonus, uh, which sorry, a little like, okay, whatever. But then yeah, also. Also, on top of that, I later learned that it's only the people who were working harder on the game were given chips. It wasn't everybody was going to get a bonus if it was higher, which is at some places they do that. Uh, no, no, no. This was they would give chips to people. Uh, and they were like, hey, you're doing a great job. All right, doing a great job. Here's a chip. You'll get a bonus if we get 90 or more on a Metacritic rating. Okay, cool. All right, see ya. Uh, but it's like, okay, well, the people who were probably getting those chips in were the people who were staying overtime. And would that not be an extra incentive for crunch so oh my god yeah uh, so it was just a whole like all right you i get what you're saying and you're like don't worry they're still getting their bonuses but it's like in doing that you exposed how you're incentivizing crunch in and of itself so it's like yeah a good job i guess we're not making you do it but like but we if you but don't. if you don't you're not going to get this bonus and uh yeah. remember we know that and that's all we know that uh and it's like that's a, so lame. yeah there's there's a whole lot and that was while I praised Rockstar earlier, they are also terrible for crunch. Uh, same with, but it's every AAA game studio has a crunch problem, and that's why it's a problem. It's like it's every stupid. single studio, yeah. ha except, except, well, actually, no, AAA, yes. And that's why I was, I was really happy to see there's a story that came out a week or two ago, I want to say, um, about Hades. Hades, uh, I don't know, I want to say I maybe tried to talk about it and I never got around to it, but Hades, great roguelite, um, it came out this year and, and they started it in early access and the community helped build it up all this stuff but what is awesome about it is that they actually gave their workers like paid time off and shit and they gave them and they literally did not incentivize it's, that's it's, crazy. i know it's like wow this is such a simple thing but holy shit the fact that this is a a like a pearl in the diamond or uh, a diamond in the the shit of like every other studio who's garbage and doesn't do anything along the lines of that it's like okay cool it, that's all oh, okay well it, it's just like i don't 
I it's it's awesome, and I was really glad to see that they were doing that. But they're also not a AAA studio, so they have more control over what they're doing. Yeah. But it's like, goddamn, yeah, yeah. the they fact that this is like this is a story because a news story is supposed to be a unique or somewhat newsworthy in some way. That means that that is newsworthy and unique, which means that it is not unique for them to have crunch. Which is like, oh my fucking god! Like it's okay when yeah. it's some. When it's Stardew Valley's developer going, all right, I'm going to stay in my basement fucking coding for 24 hours, whatever. Because guess what? He's his own boss, and he knows what he yeah. can do. Or if it's like a small team because they're all kind of on the same terms, whatever, you know, that's more of an interpersonal thing. When it's a giant company, yeah, it becomes a problem. So, the, yeah, the whole crunch culture is like, god damn. Like, I am okay with games being released buggy, but the fact that you crunched – for it to release buggy yeah, is like and it still came out like this. great yeah. so now it's the like, developers take are, your time the developers are being harassed for it being buggy and for it being delayed that's awesome yeah and then they're probably going to be like in, in like a month or so it's probably gonna be like cd project red employees come out and they're like we were tortured in a sweat lodge yeah it's just sweatshop not a sweat lodge yeah well it's all the same yeah uh <laughs> sweat lodge yeah they, <laughs> they it was the company retreat to the sweat lodge where yeah. where uh, all the executives just started beating them down yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god they were like ah oh, we knew the sweat would weaken you so uh anyways uh yeah it, it, yeah that you know this whole cyber the whole cyberpunk coming out has been a whole big thing just of everything of like how gamers are reacting it at reacting to it how like companies react to it how the actual like developers are developing oh it's a whole thing which is why i'm kind of enjoying it because it's like this is this is just showing it's showing all the cracks that we usually see but it's all at once and it's like wow look at this okay yeah. this is cool i just i i don't know dude i just don't hold on a sec i'll be your i gotta mute there's a rap at the door oh a rap at the door okay well i'll, I'll get this i'll get this started with uh you know we got we got some big news big news today you know, this is solo. Oh, it's solo cast now. Ben's leaving. Okay, this is just me. Nobody else is here. Just me. Michael. I don't know where Michael went. Ben is talking to uh, an anonymous individual. Could could be his mom. Could be a murderer. Who knows? Um, but we're gonna spill some secrets about them. Okay. Uh, Michael. He told me he actually doesn't like Lost. He actually doesn't like it. He it was a it was a it's a whole thing. He said he fucking hates it. John Locke, Sawyer, the whole bunch. He fucking hates them, and he wishes uh, they were dead. Uh, oh, you're talking about uh, lost. lost. Yeah, yeah. But I was just talking about Michael hated. It. Actually, Michael doesn't hate it, but it was funny. I was watching it with him the other day, uh, and he was not remembering many things. And I was like, Michael, have you seen this show? And he was like, oh, It's been a while, like since uh. This is me. I'm Michael now. Since Michael's not here, I get yeah. to represent him. That's he told me that. He said I could talk for him. Uh, uh, well, I haven't watched it since like probably in like five years. I don't know. Since like freshman year of high school, and I was like, Michael, that's been like seven. Did he years. say he just picked it up? Well, Again? no. That's what I was saying. I was like, weren't you watching it with your brothers like a little bit ago, like last summer? Um, and he was like, yeah. Well, we never really got this far, or whatever. Because I am at the last season, so that I that made sense. But it was just funny to me that he was like, oh, you know, freshman year of high school, probably five years ago. I'm like, that is seven or eight years ago. So not a little bit longer, but, you know, it's fine. It's Whatever. A, a bit. Uh, it's been a bit. That's that's why I'm like, Michael, Michael you maybe need to rewatch Lost because, uh, I mean, he literally – he was forgetting some stuff he should not have been – he should have known what was going on. It was pretty important stuff. Um, it was yeah, funny yeah. just because Tom, Tom knew, and Tom had mentioned he had watched Lost un under the uh, circumstances of him turning it on and falling asleep halfway through most of the episodes. And he knew more than Michael. And I was like, Michael, this is, this is bad. I mean, what do we expect from Michael? I, you know? I mean, yeah, that's honestly, I was like, this is just grade A, grade A Mike stuff right here. Um, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to, I wanted to bring up, uh, I, this is probably our last, last uh, little topic for tonight, but... I want to bring up this is new new news the newest news there is twitch bans use of simp virgin or incel as an insult no so you way. cannot use the term simp no virgin or incel now this i don't think they put out a written statement but it's from uh the uh, the coo or something it was is from some head of twitch that was they were doing a live stream talking about the new new terms that they're putting out 
and she sp specifically said that using like only them only these or were these were they used them the as the list. example i don't know if there's more but she used these uh, she said these verbally uh, these three she said use of uh she said them verbally ver she said them verbally she said uh uh using words as insults such as simp virgin incel and it was like i can't call somebody a simp okay like uh, actually no i was about to say i kind of get these but i don't i don't because okay can, simp, the only one that i can get is virgin that yeah and even that i'm like even that's a stretch who's you who is i mean people are using it but really not that or whatever that's gonna make yeah. them use it even more if anything uh not on your <laughs> platform but on other platforms uh yeah i was i was gonna maybe do a bit about be like welcome to the number one virgin podcast uh in the nation you know we're just a bunch of fucking simp incels here i don't know just break all the terms but we're not on twitch we're not yeah, yeah. so it doesn't apply to us uh but yeah i was just like i mean i don't know this is like that that obviously to the majority of people just goes what the fuck are you doing that's so goddamn yeah. dumb the who's complaint like no one that's what i'm saying it's is imaginary like, it's, like, it's, it's imaginary complaints <laughs> yeah it's like with with pretty much almost any other word i can imagine it's like there's some like even if it's a small group of people it's actually like harmful to them like that's why i'm saying it's like i can only really see like virgin being harmful if you have some i don't know it's just like the it's the silent majority I, or sorry the um the uh loud minority loud minority thank you who, yeah. who are the vocal ones who might be complaining, but that's the thing. I'm like, I haven't heard anyone complain about this at all. Like, <laughs> this I, is I, like... I, people, more, I heard more people complain about OK Boomer than Sim. That's, what, that's literally what I was about to say. I thought, <laughs> I'm like, like okay. I expect them to be like Boomer. What? But then, be... then people brought up great points, which was like, OK, so it is like the N word not banned, though? Because you haven't said that's banned. Is it not? Like certain slurs are not banned. Like I'm, I'm sure. And this is, uh, you know what? I won't even say it because it, it technically is a slur. And I'll, 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 um, I will respect that community. Um, but the uh, Romanian, like, uh, it starts with a G, uh, oh, yeah. ends with a Y. I mean, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, they, that is a slur. That is a slur. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did not know that. But to many of the people no. from that yeah, region, did. when did you when did you learn that that was a thing? I uh, found out over the, like the summer. I, I found out I found out like pretty recently, like October, like in a video somebody mentioned it, and I was like, I did not know that at oh, all. Yeah, was it like on a podcast or something? It was not. It was not we... actually. Uh, it was, oh, okay, it was okay. on um, I don't know some October. It was some like October Halloween video. I don't know if it was related to that, but I remember they mentioned that. But it was like I literally had no clue that that was a slur. I mean, it makes sense. Because when you yeah, hear, because it's also like uh, Soviets, I remember like the USSR, they like uh, in the gulags during World War II and onwards, they locked up uh, them. Uh, and it was like, oh, OK, oh, yeah. uh, it, it's just Romanians. It's like Romanians. I, I forget what the I'll look it up after this, um, but it, it's just Romanians. Romani. Romani. Yeah, I think it is Romani. Yeah, yeah. I think it's Romani. Um, either that or, I, um, but I mean, it's it's just it's just a sect of people. It's a group of people. Um, but yeah. it literally, I mean, that is a term that I'm pretty sure was come up so uh, against them. It's it's like it literally was used against them, and it was used for that or come up for that reason. So, uh, yeah, I I don't know. It, it's just like I I honestly, Ouch. uh, yeah, I don't know. That's wild. I, I think I, can, I, I think they I'm just need to people... allow speech. It's like either allow, <laughs> like I'm not even saying you need to allow it all. There's certain things I'm like, you you know what? If you ban that, I'm not gonna put up. Uh, I'm not gonna put yeah. up a fight, but at the same time, anytime you limit speech, I'm always like, mm, mm, should you yeah. though? Should you? And it's just like, uh, honestly, just, I'd rather it be. Slope. That is, I'm not a libertarian, but that's one of the ways I'm like, all right, well, speech. I mean, it technically doesn't harm anyone. Like, I get it does, but it technically doesn't. Like, it it physically it doesn't hurt them. I get emotionally and mentally it can, but it's like who's being mentally harmed by the word simp in this case yeah i think it, it's and like... if they are they're i don't think it's on us i don't think it's on twitch no. to 
moderate that. It's like that's a personal problem. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, that is a personal problem. If it was in response to like Twitch community requests or something just like, like that, what, just was that? what was it in response to? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Simp? Like who? It seems like something uh, that they would like. Like, like if you were to Incel? do it, you have to be like, like you dab, you dab while you sing. Like, oh my gosh, fucking simp! You're not going to be saying simp. Simp. You will not be saying dab. Yeah, dude, it's like what the fuck? It, it's just, it's just like, I mean, okay, we'll have another That's word. Not, and that wasn't bent. Like incel and virgin. If they had done that, it would have been like a okay. But I think specifically because it is simp, that such a like still used word that it's like. I mean, if you had given it another few months, maybe people would have been like, that's weird. Why did you do that? But people wouldn't have cared. Now people care. And now people are like, well, I'm going to try to find any word close to that to use. So you can't. Because that's yeah. the other thing. It's like language is changing so quickly. Simp didn't exist a year ago or it didn't really exist in the wide yeah. lexicon. I remember literally hearing about simp a year ago or even it was January of last year uh, from yeah. Michael. Michael said it. And I went, haha, looked it up and went. Oh wow! Okay, that's what? funny. Okay, <laughs> and then I started to hear it more and more. Then it's yeah. gonna die off immediately after that. It's just part of language. It's a popular word, it. and it will become unpopular. But it's like, oh my god! Yeah. I gotta mute real quick. Sorry. Okay. All right. Solo time with Jake again. It's just me. Don't worry. Just, just me. You're safe. Uh, so we. Uh, what? He's shaking his head. These uh, bastards. Oh. 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 Whoa, Ben. Language. Okay. This isn't. We, we don't. We don't do that here. Uh, anyways. I, hate, I hate living at home. I mean, I love it. <laughs> Yo, but... I've, I, hey, right there with you. But at the same time, like, yeah, I got food and stuff, you know. And it's, yeah, it's and a limited. It's nice to be back. Is it, do you, do you get a little, a little joy from being back at home? I do. I have dogs here, feels, which is really cozy. nice. Uh, I love having dogs around me. Um, Rub it in my face, Jake. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. It's all weird. <laughs> but, you know, Bye. it's all right. You'll see a dog soon enough. When's, I yeah. mean, you got you uh just look up look up this site bid it's a cool it's a cool site neo pets you get your own pets they're pretty cool it's dude pretty I, cool. that reminds me i've been meaning to get you can get a pet for your touch bar on a macbook pro you can get a little dog that wow. runs around in the grass i forgot that the the thing was like a digital touch bar i always it's i see so, that every now and then i'm like that's weird. it's kind of cool it's, it's kind of like, cool i I don't know it's if like I would want it, useful. but yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, I feel like in for certain apps and just certain things, it's like, oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Like I was thinking of it in terms of like Adobe or something like that. If I could put apps down use there, it. It never maybe, really. Maybe good for Premiere for like scrubbing through things. That's what I'm thinking. I don't but... know. Just certain, there are certain things I was like, maybe that would work. But then I also was like, I have shortcuts. I've actually learned the shortcuts as of late. So like, I yeah, that's what I was doing. like. I never use. I never use it when I'm in in design Lightroom. Nothing. Yeah, I've been. Um, have you ever used Blender, Ben? Um, like the, the. I know Max got into it big time. He was like, because he's in a sculpture. He does double major for graphic design and sculpture, and he was. Like, he made like crazy stuff, dude. dude it's Blender's awesome. fucking awesome. I really actually kind of want to learn Blender a little it. bit because that it seems. Yeah. I don't know what I would use it for necessarily, but like. I could make mm -hmm. I was just thinking videos wise if I was ever doing like green screen stuff I could make like 3D landscapes and it'd, it'd be like funny but mm -hmm. it'd be a weird style that I could I don't know find, yeah, yeah. find into but I honestly find, just like a, a quirky little yeah just like something I don't know but it would also be cool because it's like I made all of this like that's all of me whatever um, yeah but I, I was messing around with it today because I was just I was bored and I was like I honestly just kind of want to like learn some other programs Are you doing it on PC yeah I'm just on my PC um, okay. But it's really cool because I feel like after learning the Adobe programs, a lot of them are kind of not made in the same way, but very similar ways. Where it's yeah, like, there's like similar principles to everything. Yeah, kind yeah, of. exactly. Uh, so it's like not super hard to kind of like navigate. It's just using kind of like applying the same thing in my brain as like Adobe is. So it's just like, okay, now these are yeah. the render functions, whatever. Um, I was just messing around with it today. And it's very, I don't know if it's because I've done that or if it's just an intuitive program, but it's very just easy to kind of like go in and do some stuff i i was watching like a little video um just kind of going through some of the basics but that yeah. dude that program is fucking rad just some of the shit you can do in there um there is a i want to do it to like make environmental renders and stuff it sounds fun to just make your own little scenes yeah dude it, it's it seems like you can just do a lot in there and it's not as long as you have a good enough like pc or uh graphics card to like render everything seems like that's all you need um but there is and then you can uh, well, well, Blender is just the modeling thing. You have to have a separate thing to render it, right? 
Yes, I want to say so, but I'm actually not sure. I want to say it. I was looking in it, and it had its own render tab. So you oh. might be able to render out in Blender. But you might also, I mean, uh, this is me having one day of experience. So I'm yeah, not sure. No. I'm trying to remember because I know that the way Max was doing it was he was modeling it in Blender and then rendering it in Dimension. It might have been because he was using Dimension-specific models as well, so I don't know. Yeah, that could. Hmm. Oh, no. Um, but it does seem super fun. It, it's, like, it's really cool. It's free. That's the other thing. It's really free. And, yeah, that's um, crazy. And so I downloaded, there's multiple versions, but I downloaded, like, I think it's 1.8. 1.8 or something. Um because that's like the long life version. So it, it, it even says specifically, it's like for long projects, you're going to want to use this because we're going to keep updating this and it will be compatible with everything. So, um, but there is a, this is my, this is, will be my video recommendation for, um, for, I guess this podcast, uh, look up dry old, bo dry old bones. Fuck that up real bad. Uh, Dry Old Bones by Worthy Kids. Uh, Worthy Kids. He does a lot of like animations um, and, and stuff. Um, but he he did this in. This is what made me go download Blender, because I've seen some people use it for like video games and just uh, like 2D environments, but making them in a 3D space and it's just a lot easier. Like I've seen a lot of like just good uses for it. Um, but he oh, has made sick. he has made recently. Uh, did you look it up the video? Yeah, this is yeah. in Blender. Yeah, that's in Blender. And so what what Ben is watching right now, it basically looks like an old Rudolph the Red Rose Reindeer cartoon, or like an old um, I forget the actual. It's like Honkskin and Frank. Bing, I don't know. It there's so it's some weird name is the the company that made it or the group that made it, but it's a type of animation. And it's like old that old claymation. You know, Santa Claus is coming to town. All those classics. It looks like that. It's like claymation, and, but like with more character with character yeah and i fucking loved it i i i watched it i saw him do another thing I, he did something similar but this i it's actually was like dude this rules so if if you've gotten this far go watch it because i mean it is is legitimately a a awesome awesome animation um and so that that really made me go what the fuck can i do with this because if he can fucking make that if i can get anywhere close obviously i'm not super artistic or anything but like if he can get anywhere close with that then yeah that's uh, i want to learn i want to learn that environment so yeah that's awesome yeah so shouts out to worthy kids uh they also i mean they made a, a bunch of, i've seen uh, a bunch of their cartoons they've they've been popping off recently they've they've gotten like they've, they've gotten a few million views on their cartoons so I don't, I don't, they don't need our help but I'm, I'm glad to send you their way so uh i i think that's it for this podcast though uh i'm glad I'm glad we finally got wait, to wait, it. I, I, yeah, sorry. You, you can close it out. I just oh, no. What, 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 seen, what are you into? seen stuff from this. Oh, from this uh, dude? Worthy Kids? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he has a really unique kind of animation style um, that I, yeah. I enjoy. Um, oh, it's this. I've seen the space one. Is it the, the, the clowns or the, the Emperor Palpatine one or the, the witch on Tinder? It's, it's, it's uh, John C. Riley in space. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he also did one of Hannibal um, doing his like little Morpheus uh, dig jig thing, um, but oh, yeah, yeah, he's got like a lot of good. The ones. new Hannibal, or not, not the new Hannibal, the old Hannibal. Well, Hannibal, uh, like Hannibal from a uh, Eric Andre show, like Hannibal, Hannibal oh, exposed. Oh Bill yeah, Cosby. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also, he has Pepe Sylvia too. Yeah, I Pepe see Sylvia. That one. Uh, Anyways, so yeah, go check them out. They're, you know, I I, I always love, especially animation, it's kind of harder to come by nowadays on YouTube. It was really big, I feel like, 10 years ago. Not necessarily good, but big. Uh, but there, there, were, there were good animations 10 years ago. I don't want to say that there were. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I'm glad to see it is kind of coming back. I think, I think Patreon and a lot of things, since they can't really make money off of YouTube, I think Patreon and, and shit has really helped out with that. So that's... It's good to see. Good to see it somewhere. Why can't they make it off YouTube? What? Why can't they make it off YouTube? Uh, YouTube, uh, in 2011, I want to say, switched their algorithm, or not their algorithm, but their monetary uh, thing to make it where uh, you only make money if your videos are over 10 minutes. Um, so oh, it was basically yeah, such a, a fucking tragedy for any animator because it was like, oh, good, now I can animate something for 10 minutes? Yeah, that... Uh, sure. Okay, let me just do that for about a year and a half, and then we'll yeah, yeah. for you. 
So, yeah, it, it just sucked because immediately after that, I was like, well, this is not a viable platform anymore. And then they tried to find other viable platforms, and there weren't any. Newgrounds kind of – Newgrounds had a resurgence, um, but it – it, I mean, it's still not – I mean, it's still there, I guess. So, you know, whatever, though. I mean, it's uh, – I'm glad at least animation has found some places on – back on Newgrounds and, you know, back somewhat on YouTube using other places of making money. But – you know, still, still kind of a dying breed, not not found often. So when it's there, you gotta appreciate it, okay? That's that's all I wanted to say. But sure. it, it's been a good podcast. You know, talked a lot of video games, talked a lot of uh, weird three um, D jargon. Uh, but you know, it's like it's a, a Ryan, you're let down. It's it's a yeah. Uh, Michael fucking <laughs> matrixed out like literally five minutes in. Don't know what happened there. I think I think we did a solid job. Oh, we did a solid that. job, but I just don't. <laughs> I, I can't wait to go back from <laughs> editing this, uh, and, or sorry, when we hire our editor um, and just see him snap back in and out every single time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll end this on um, all like here you go. I tried doing this earlier and almost broke my lights. So here you go. We're gonna end on like a little nice Christmas scene. Okay. Here we go and. Thank you for joining us uh, for the Talking Heads Club. Good night. Shit. Wait. We'll just wait for it. Good night. Oh my god. Oh, that's lovely. Shit, you can still see. Fuck. Turn it off. You thought you thought we were done. We're not done yet. We uh, we got so much. We got shit to sell you. Okay, we got. Oh, look at this. Look at this nice hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's a nice. Uh, it's a nice hoodie designed by. Thi- look at this artist here, Benjamin Anderson. He designed it himself. Oh my gosh, this is the back. For you to put on your body. This is the. This is the front. In these cold times. It, it's a nice crew neck hoodie. This is a large black. It, it fits great. It's so goddamn soft. We got the softest material you can make on Teespring. This. This shirt, oh, it's such a good shirt, right? You, I bet that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, what a nice shirt this man has. A nice gray color, oh my gosh. This but is guess the first what? time I'm seeing these, but oh, yeah. I promise you they're high quality. Well, guess what? This one actually, Ben, is shit. This one's shit. Throw that out. Oh, no. That one's shit. I got that. And I went, you know what? This is nice, but it's not nice enough. It's not nice enough. So guess what? I upped the quality of it. I upped the quality, did not up the price. It's the same price, boom. All right, there we go. You you like guy. that? You like that shirt? I bet he you like this shirt better. People. Oh my god, it feels like a fucking pillowcase. I am sleeping on a pillow. Mm. Oh my gosh, That's look so at cool. that. I mean, it is really cool. The detail. Not to not to swab on my own knob. But, but look that at that. The cool. detail is there. Look the the walking. They're walking on the Talking Heads Club. Oh my gosh. So Indeed. make sure to buy that. It really is. It's super super nice. I wear it all the time. Uh, I mean, it's our own he podcast. Does. I can vouch so, for this. Uh, That's but, the only place I've ever seen it is on I'm, him. What is, what's this focus? What's the focus going on? Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, we uh, look. It's so good. The camera can't even capture it. The, it broke the camera. That's how beautiful it is. Uh, anyways, make sure to get it. The link's in the bio uh, or in the description, whatever the fuck. It's in our bio and description. Um, so make sure to check that out. Uh, softest material. Get it. Won't be there by Christmas. I can guarantee you that. It won't be there. But it'll be there well, after Christmas. It'll be, I'll guarantee you, if you order it now, it'll be there by next Christmas. So um, Christmas 2021. Get your merch for then. Uh, all right. Now we're done. <laughs> Bye.